Hey, once again, Divine Co Creators of Reality, this is your soul, and I'm going to take you through an interesting piece here which I found uh, coming from, it seems to be New Zealand, uh, appearing to show whether this is correct according to the government's guidelines there or not, a company forcing people to provide their personal details in order to shop in the, in the store as a result of what they claim to be uh, a protective measure against COVID-19 to enable contact tracing. So they're effectively saying you can't buy or trade in our store unless you pr provide your own name and details to us and we know exactly who you are um, so that somehow in case someone gets sick we can figure out who they got this virus from. Uh, I find that to be absurd and totally impractical and extremely ineffective in terms of tracing people but regardless from what I can tell this isn't even a government policy in New Zealand and uh, so yeah let's just take a look at this video and see what you think of it. Um, so you're not going to allow me to shop into this place unless I give you my name and my details is that correct? So what Animates has asked us to do is in line with the um, MPI which is what the government is asking us to do so they're asking all stores to contact trace mm -hmm. where possible so what we're doing is we're taking a name and a number. Michelle, can I just borrow you for a sec? Um, so we're taking just a name and a number so that we can get in contact with anybody who could come in contact with the virus. Okay, okay so you're refusing my, um, my ability to come in here and purchase something. It is the safety of the staff and it's the safety of all the customers that we need to have this register. So without that, you can shop online with us, but unfortunately we will not be able to shop in the shop today. So you're refusing my ability to be able to purchase something. If, unless I give my personal details, is that right? Yes, sir. Is that right? This is what the EPI Just, it's a yes or no said. question. So you're refusing my ability to be able to purchase something because I won't give you my details, is that correct? If that's how you're understanding what I'm saying. Is that what, you, is that what you're telling me? So am I, okay, so that you can let me ask you, am I allowed to go in here and purchase something without giving you my name and details? At this stage, at level two. No, so you're breaching my, do you realise you're in breach of my private, my, um, Privacy Act. But do you You're understand in breach of the Privacy Act that I am a by refusing worker? me to allow to come in here and buy something. You and and making me give my details. You're in breach of my privacy. Do you understand that? I can understand where you're coming from. Is, is this your? Is this your? Someone higher up the ladder? Is it? No. She is another worker that works here, and we are protecting our staff and our customers by following the. Internet How are you lines. protecting me by breaching my privacy? I just need to get you to wait a moment. It is not my choice. I am following what my company has told okay. me and what they have been told have by Have you ever heard of the Nuremberg Code? No, I have not. Nuremberg Code are the trials that Hitler did after the uh, war and when he put all his uh, um, minions through the courts there and they said, just doing my job is not an excuse for breaching people's rights. So again, you're refusing me entry into here and to purchase something unless I give you my personal details. I understand, sir. If you have a complaint, you can call 0800 Animates and complain to them about their services. But unfortunately, I cannot allow you to do that. So this appears to be the company, Animates. I'm not in that part of the world, so I don't recognise this brand, but I'm pretty sure this is the right company. And you can see they have a section here on contact tracing. It says, to ensure we comply with the government, with government contact tracing, we'll be asking all customers to register their contact details before entering any of our retail stores. We appreciate your cooperation with this procedure and in keeping all of our customers safe during this time. So I've never heard of that in any other store anywhere. So I decided to look into the New Zealand government's page about this. And according to their own page, they basically say that they don't require businesses to do this. So someone seems to have got their wires crossed, I think, but maybe there's more to it. So if we scroll down here, contract tracing at your premises. Information for businesses and other organisations on how to collect information to help with contact tracing. So, other than explaining why they think it's a good idea. Um, so, non-retail businesses and services. All non-retail businesses must record details of all people's movements on their premises. This includes all employees, visitors and customers. You should keep people one, people, uh, people one metre apart at all times where practical. For retail, which that um, business was... Retail stores do not need to record details of their customers. You must still keep records of your employees and any visitors such as maintenance workers or suppliers. You should keep customers two metres apart at all times where practical. So the New Zealand government's own webpage basically says they don't need to do that. Um, yet this company seems to think they do need to do that. 
and they're justifying it and coming up with all these reasons which as you can see in the video don't add up don't make sense and the lady there trying her best to to sort of stand up for the policy can't really do it because the policy doesn't make any sense and even the, the New Zealand government appears to you know agree with them not needing to do that so so it was interesting to see that because this video is being shared around and obviously when you see things like this it might lead many people to conclude that this is a policy and this is something that's coming down the line and all businesses are going to be doing this um, but just to be clear in this case at least it seems to be just this company has got the wrong end of the stick maybe as I said maybe there's more to it maybe that for some reason they've decided to implement this as a test who knows but um, this is the situation so it, you know, it's good that the guy spoke up for himself and didn't just bow down, in my opinion, and didn't just give all his private details. Some people might say, oh, well, who, what, did, what, how important is it that you give your name and details to these people? I mean, you know, if it keeps people safe, then does it really matter? Now, there's a case to be said for that. But on the other hand, in reality, there's no obligation people have to give their private information. And private information is private information. We have a tradition of people being free to come and go as they please on this planet, generally speaking, until you get into authoritarian regimes that kill millions of people. Historically, uh, generally, we're free to go about what we want to do without harming anyone else. And going into stores uh, for trading and so on is part of that. And the issue is really... If we look at the boiling frog analogy, uh, where if you want to enslave a population, but you don't want to fight them and whip them to death or into submission, then one way to do it is to gradually turn up the heat day by day, month by month, week by week, increasing the amount of control and removing the amount of freedom each person has. Uh, if you remove it piece by piece, they're less likely to rebel or fight back because they become accustomed to the current level of restriction they live under. And this is often called the boiling frog analogy, where if you were to try and put some frogs in a, in a saucepan and boil them, they would jump out, uh, you know, with water in it once it got too hot for them. But if you turn the water up little by little, not that I've ever tried this and I don't recommend anyone does, uh, in principle, you may find that you can actually cook the frog and kill it because it doesn't jump out because the temperature is just getting slightly, slightly um, higher and higher as time goes on. So whilst on the surface, just giving your name and address in a shop might not seem such a big deal, in reality, it's potentially just one, uh, as David Icke would call it, the totalitarian tiptoe, just one tiny step towards an ever-increasing torrent of control that may seem preposterous to be introduced to people today, but as these things stack up, it becomes more and more acceptable. Many of the restrictions placed on people under the COVID-19 lockdown, for example, I'm fairly sure would not have been accepted by the majority of people that I grew up with who were from previous generations, perhaps who remembered World War II or um, were close to people who had fought in World War II, who fought against control of this, basically of this kind, even in the name of medicine, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have stood up for a lot of this stuff to the same extent that their grandchildren have been, uh, on average, I would say. Um it just seems like people don't study history enough. They don't understand some of the agendas at play. And it seems like, you know, maybe the gaps that we have between major wars seem to be uh, perhaps reflecting to some extent the way that people's focus drifts away from defending their liberty uh, just long enough for people who want to enslave them to come back and attack them again. And then a whole new battle kicks off. Just a, a hypothesis I've just kicked out there from nowhere. But in any case... Um, I do feel it's important for us all to know our rights, to stand up for ourselves. Uh, the gentleman in that video tried to reference the Nuremberg trials. Um, he sort of got the story a bit wrong there in the way that he described what happened. But um, the gist of it is ultimately that saying that you are only following orders is not a valid defence, or certainly wasn't a valid defence in those courts uh, for the Germans who were hung. And I think that stands today, ultimately. You don't get to say, well, I did harm to these people, but let me off because I was just following orders. Um, I mean, if somebody literally has a gun to your head or your family's head and you're being coerced to doing these things, then maybe there's a case to be made. But if you can't show evidence of what you did to try and fight back and prevent you being forced to do harm to other people, then you don't really have much of a defence. And if you just willingly go along and tick the boxes and do everything you're told and limit people's freedoms, impinge on their rights and so on, then you can expect some pushback. And, you know, what form that takes is not up to me, it's up to the people of the planet. And, you know, I'm just suggesting that if you're cold to them, they may well be much colder to you in the long term. So I would suggest paying attention now and actually considering whether what you're doing and what you're asking other people to do is ethical in the big picture uh, perspective and whether it respects people's free will. That's really what this comes down to. 
are you respecting people's free will? Yes or no? Um, those who are religiously minded or Christian might actually find some interest in the post I made recently comparing the uh, Book of Revelations preface, uh, prophecy of the uh, beast system or the mark of the beast and 666 and so on uh, about its references to the way that basically it was said that people wouldn't be able to buy or sell or trade without having a number and a mark on them. And then when we compare that to the actions of Bill Gates and his patents on cryptocurrency technology that connects to the body and quantum tattoos, having everybody tattooed and stating clearly, oh, nothing's going to go back to normal until everyone's vaccinated. He's basically, you know, to me, it's totally obvious whether you're religious or not, whether you want to think about prophecy or not. He's making a power move. He's making a power grab to centralize authority over the whole planet in a way that is almost never done or attempted. And it's shocking that he's trying to do it to me. How conscious is he of what he's doing is up for debate. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very sceptical. And I think that we need to be very vigilant for what people might consider to be ridiculous and absurd and impossible. The idea that people might actually try to centralise power in a way that weakens everyone uh, right in front of their faces and get away with it. And one of the reasons why I'm so concerned about this is, A, I see it, well, on top of the fact that I see it happening, is that I know that denial is the biggest epidemic, unconsciousness and denial. And they effectively mean that people can do all kinds of things right in front of people's faces and they will not say or do anything in response because they're in denial. Their mind won't allow them to accept that this terrible thing is happening in front of them, so they do nothing, like a rabbit in the headlights. And that's that's the issue for me is this terror that's denied people are often being run by fear and terror and they don't even recognize it and this really opens the door to all kinds of horrible things to happen and i don't want that so i'm just doing my best to inform the world about these patterns and these principles interesting to know what you have to think or comment on what you've just seen there in that video and if you've got any other examples from around the world of where um, businesses or organizations have prevented access to their facilities or preventing people from buying and selling whether you know as long if they uh, won't go along with these kind of draconian measures uh, also definitely interested to hear from anyone in New Zealand who may have got comments on this from a legal perspective or from their own experience so yeah um, may tomorrow be more free than yesterday may we all come to know peace and uh, if you've watched this long thanks for watching and please do share along give me a like uh, thumbs up or an upvote wherever you see this subscribe if you're new and until next time Peace.